quickly Oregon and this is going to be the operative word once again is quickly here he was on the staff has been here for a few years time now and got promoted to the OC job really stress out well they don't it's the opposing offensive coordinator now he stresses out he tries to make something happen and your defense Oregon's defense capitalizes turnovers things of that nature so they feed one another and of course they have to replace on the throw to Brian and Clay yeah and, and a lot of speed out there that they have to replace as well and that's the key to their defense is that speed so they've got they've got a bit to go I think when we talk about spread offense. The end who plays off the ball some. A ton of speed out there. Now, as we said, though, they're stockpiling talent. So they're doing it on defense, not just yeah. offense. There's Lyarla. Lyarla's pass complete for Lyarla. Byron Marshall continues out there as the Running back. And what you saw in that last play, the ability, a first option wasn't there. Take two steps, second, second window opens up, he nails it. That's that maturity that we're seeing more and more out of him. I'm excited to watch him progress through this next season. Oh, and gosh, the sky's just the limit for him if you look at what he did last year, just in his first year as a starter. Eric Dungy getting a chance. The quarterback here, and Marcus Mariota came from Honolulu, won the job, very poised, and I thought that was a great part of Mark Helfrich's assessment, as you see there, what Mariota did extremely well last year when he ran. He been gassing out already. And now Mario to stretching a play out that finally takes him to the sideline and out of bounds. I'm glad you made that point. The, the fellows will compete for the job behind him. The first backup job is open now, and Jake Rodriguez is going to get these snaps for the Ducks. Two men will battle for this job that redshirted last year, both from Northern California. And so definitely had some mentors along the way for sure. And that ball got in there. Jake Rodriguez with the throw to Braylon Addison. And in the next spring for sure. And there's a nice throw off the play action. An event like the spring game. And a great point because we there's there's a kid long who gets drafted and is he in Chicago? He goes there, but he feels the need to get back to Eugene. Well, Michael James, playing in the Bay Area, one of the great cities in our country, and he feels the need to get back. All right, 30 seconds of clock time remaining. And let's see that you could run seven, eight plays in that, right? Yeah, when you get nine yards a clip, and a he has to he has to prognosticate out to see where things could become and how does he use his timeouts in these situations. So this is good work for them, good work for the head coaches to get themselves ready. Yeah. A little bit of the spring game there. The defensive linemen weren't all. Receivers and just get behind the defense. Oh, well, there you go. That little keeper work for Rodrigo. Younger guy going to be a third-year player that will be either Lockie or Rodriguez. Nice job using his hands yeah. and his mobility to set the defense up a little bit, get a few extra yards. Fits the up. Uh, description you mentioned Glenn he's from Eugene South Eugene High so you know he's got a lot of folks here watching today as Rodriguez has done a nice job with his feet here
That turnover yes, margin exactly. is the interception. It, it, those type of things, that last little panel we showed you, that's what they can hang their hat on. But you're absolutely right. Ta uh, what they could do to time of possession, what they do to uh, field position and total yards, they're not going to be great. It's not. Uh, clock time remaining in the first half of the spring game. Eric Dungy just caught that tipped ball. That's a great tackle out there. Tell you what, your Mathis. The O line. And how different that is in the Oregon scheme. Of course, we know Kyle Long is is moved on. Well, their O line, three guys back that are starters. This team next season. All right, so that's a little offensive line. We'll get back to that one. We could go on all day about it. Well, I line. know we could. <laughs> And we might, as Eric Dungy makes a nice catcher, but let's hear a little bit about the Oregon defense now as we go back. You know, the spring ball is such a grind for these mm -hmm. kids. There's no, you, you, you get out of study hall at night, you just go home to bed because you got to get up early to practice and wait. You're finally done. You get to go back to being a regular college student other than your workouts. Yeah, so. Lucky five wins. Expectation of national championship hopes. That's what they need to be thinking about. So often I think fans get caught up into, well, our offense didn't average many. Backfield. It's a good job by him. 5-9 Mathis. 175 out of Detroit. Lucky keeps. Runs that ball down near the Lock first down. She started Sonny Dykes and Cal was the first one. They got going in late March. And it's a great chance. I know for me, I love it because it's a chance to get back and reestablish ties with the university and these players. And then, of course, it's great for the fans. Lose your voice in those first couple days, then you hopefully you gain that strength. And spring's tough, guys, because you don't practice every day like you do during the season. Yeah, they're, they're in training as well. Got to get the vocal cords prepped. That's right.